Hello, welcome back. The title of this lesson is called Uniform Probability Models. This is part one. So in this lesson, we're going to calculate probability. We're going to continue doing that. But we're also going to focus on this particular definition called the Uniform Probability Model. Basically, if you think about a coin that you flip, there's only two sides. And the probability of getting heads is one half because there's one out of two possible outcomes, right? And the probability of getting a tails is also one half because there's one tails and there's two possible outcomes. So the probability of heads is one half and the probability of tails is also one half. The only two outcomes we have are heads or tails and the probability of both are the same. So when you have a situation where the outcomes all have the same probability, we call it a uniform probability model. It just means all the outcomes have exactly the same probability. Another example of this would be rolling a six-sided die. What's the probability of getting a one? Well, it's a one possible outcome out of six sides, so one-sixth. What's the probability of getting a two? Again, one side out of six, one-sixth. What's the probability of getting a three? It's also one-sixth. The probability of four, the probability of five, the probability of rolling a six is also one six. So when I roll a die, I have equal chance, equal probability of getting any of these numbers as outcomes. That is a uniform probability model. So just ask yourself the question, and when I do this experiment, are all of the outcomes the same likelihood? If the answer is yes, it's called uniform. Can you guess what it's going to be called when the outcomes have different probabilities? It's going to be called a non-uniform probability model. So let's take a look at problem one. Kenley spins the spinner below. What is the probability that it will land on any one of the numbers? Any one of the numbers. That just means that basically the probability of landing on the, uh, uh, let's do it like this, the probability of landing on the number one, right? is one possible outcome out of a total of four, right? What's the probability of landing on a two? Again, there's only one outcome out of a, 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 a total number of four. And you can see the probability of rolling a three is also one fourth, and the probability of rolling a four, spinning a four, is also one fourth. So the probability of any one of these outcomes is exactly the same thing. So because of that, this is called a uniform a uniform probability model. It's in the same family as flipping a coin or rolling a die because all of the outcomes have exactly the same probability, which in this case is one fourth. All right, let's take a look at problem number two. It says Kayla puts the marble shown below in a bag and uh, pulls one out. What is the probability she will pull a blue marble out? So we can write it as probability of pulling out a single blue marble. Well, how many blue marbles do we have as an outcome? One, two, three, four, five of them. And how many total outcomes do we have? Here's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So five tenths. But you all know that five tenths, when you divide by five, works out to one half. Divide by five, divide by five, you get one half. So that's the probability of, of pulling out a blue marble. Let's compare that to the other situation here where we do the same exact thing, but what is the probability we'll pull out an orange marble? So the probability of an orange marble is again five possible outcomes, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, out of a total of 10, same exact thing, which again works out to one half. So in this situation, the probability of pulling a blue marble is one half. It means half of the time I expect to pull blue, and also half of the time I expect to pull an orange marble out. So if the two possible outcomes are to either get a blue marble or an orange marble, and both of them have exactly the same probability, one half, half the time I should get blue, half the time I should get orange, then because of that, this again is also a uniform probability model. All right, let me take these down. I have a few more to wrap up this concept. All right, problem number four. It says Kayla spins the spinner below. Are the probabilities the spinner lands on orange or gray equal? Are they equal? Well, what you do is you say, well, I have three possible outcomes of orange and three possible outcomes of gray. So because the outcomes, I have exact equal number of spinner spaces that are orange and gray, then you know intuitively that the probability of landing on, on either orange or gray is the same. So you can actually answer the question without any math. Is the probability of landing on orange or gray the same? Yes. Now let's dig a little deeper into why. If you wanna figure out the probability of landing on an orange position, then you have to say how many orange positions are there? There are three of them. But how many total positions are there? One, two, three, four, five, six of them, three six. And that, as you reduce, divide by three, you get one half. Now, what is the probability of landing on gray? 
All right, there are three gray positions as well, so the outcomes I'm interested in are three, again, out of six, which again works out to be one half. So the probability of landing on orange is exactly the same thing as the probability of landing on gray. So the probabilities the spinner lands landing on orange or gray are equal, yes they are, and because of this, again, this is a uniform probability distribution because the outcomes are equally likely. All right, let's take a look at problem number five. Diana flips a coin. Is this example of a uniform probability model? Well, we kind of already gave it away because in the introduction to the class, I gave the example of flipping a coin. Well, we know that the probability of landing on heads is one outcome out of a possible two outcomes, so it's one half, and the probability of landing on a tail is only one outcome, again, out of a possible two. So the probability of heads and tails is the same, and because of that, uh, is this an example of a uniform probability model? The answer is yes. All right, let's take a look at problem number six. Craig spins the spinner below. Is this an example of a uniform probability model? Well, let's figure it out. The probability of spinning a landing on a position with a number one is one, two, three possible outcomes out of a total of one, two, three, four, five possible outcomes. So the probability of landing on a one is three fifths. The probability of landing on a two as an outcome, there's only two of those outcomes, again, out of five possible positions. So you can see the probability of landing on a one is higher than the probability of landing on two. They are not equal. Is this an example of a uniform probability model? No, it is not. It is a non-uniform probability model. All right, so three-fifths and two-fifths. All right, making good progress. Let's take a look at problem number seven. Frederick pulls the marbles shown below, puts them in a bag, pulls one out. Is this an example of a uniform probability model? Let's figure it out. What is the probability of pulling out a blue marble? It is two possible outcomes out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten marbles. Two out of ten. If we simplify this fraction, divide by two, we'll get a one, and divide by two, we'll get a five. So the probability of pulling out a blue marble is uh, one-fifth. What is the probability of pulling out an orange marble? There are four possible orange marbles, at a, again, out of possible 10 total. If we divide by two again here, we'll get a two-fifths. So the probability for an orange marble is two-fifths. What is the probability of getting a gray marble? Again, there are four gray marbles out of a total of 10, and that again works out to two Fifth. So is this an example of a uniform probability model? No, it's not, because the outcomes have different probabilities. These are the same, but the probability of getting a blue is different, so it's non-uniform. So the answer is no. This is a not a this is not a uniform probability model. It is called non-uniform. And here's our last question. Cameron rolls a die. Is this an example of a uniform probability model? Well, the probability of rolling a one is simply one possible side has a one on it out of a total of six, so one six. But the probability of rolling a two is also one six because there's only one side that has a two on it, again, out of six. The probability of three or four or five or six is always going to be the same, one six. So because of that, is this an example of a uniform? Yes, it is. This is a uniform prob probability model. We already kind of talked about that. So we're going through a little bit of work to identify a little bit more with more um, rigor what kind of probability situation we're dealing with. We now know how to find probability, but we also want to know what kind of problem we're dealing with. When all of the outcomes of the experiment have equal likelihood, we call it a uniform probability model, like the die and like the, uh, like the uh, flipping of a coin. But then we have other situations where we have non-equal number of outcomes, we're gonna end up with a non-uniform situation. And that's all it is. There's not much to it, but it's just a definitional thing we have to see examples of. I'd like you to solve these when you feel like you understand it. Follow Follow me on to the next part, the next lesson. We'll continue on with uniform probability models.